Here I'm going to talk about the flap mortality sign. This is a case of white intumescent cataract in 40 years old male patient. The most challenging in this case is the high incidence of peripheral extension during anterior capsulorexis performing. With or without post equatorial extension and posterior capsule arterial, you can see here after staining the anterior capsule using 25 gauge needle connected into the tube of aspiration in FECO machine, then using this needle to aspirate the milky fluid but actually the needle was used in the wrong way with bevel up and the bevel should be down while doing aspiration with this needle then after aspiration the milky fluid and depressurizing the enteral lenticular pressure here i am using the rexis forceps to complete the anterior capsule rexis you can see here the anterior uh, capsular rexes. Look carefully here at this point. At 8 o'clock, you can see the anterior rexes is extended to periphery at this point. Now I will inject uh, OVD to see the edge of extension i can't see the edge of my extension and i don't know if this extension goes anterior or posterior to the equator and affecting the posterior capsule now i will use micro scissor to do a small snip in the anterior capsule to complete this rexis now you can see extension is go behind the iris and i can't see the edge of the extension here is the micro scissor to make a small snip in the anterior capsule then using the rexis forceps to complete the anterior capsular rexis here you can see the capsular rexis with peripheral extension at 8 o'clock focus with me and give me your attention here at this is white arrow you can see this is a flap in the anterior capsule while starting emulsifying this cataract you can see this flap is inverted into the anterior chamber towards the iris and also you can see this is a flap is flattering inside the anterior chamber is not inverted towards the capsular bag and you can see now emulsifying the first half of this cataract and look at the flap is flattering in the anterior chamber and it is inverted into the anterior chamber and towards the iris which is a good sign that your uh, extension is anterior to the equator and uh, the posterior capsule is still intact if this flap is inverted inside the, to the capsular bag and if this flap is not flattering which is a sign that there is extension posterior to the equator and that there is a tear in the posterior capsule you can see here I keep the anterior chamber and capsular bag formed with the irrigation of the FACO then I inject uh, OVD to form the capsular back and the anterior chamber before getting the FECO probe out from the anterior chamber. You can see here also the flattering of the anterior flap. You can see the flattering and the mortality of this flap. It is averted and it is flattering which is a good sign that the extension is anterior to the equator and is not extend to affect the posterior capsule and as I said before if this flap is inverted towards the capsular bag and is not flattering which is a sign that uh, the extension goes uh, behind the equator posterior to the equator and affecting the posterior capsule here you can see implanting a single piece hydrophobic IOL inside the capsular bag with adjusting the haptic to be perpendicular with the peripheral extension then using the bimanual irrigation aspiration as it's clear to 
uh, remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber also behind the IOL you can still see the flattering anterior capsular flap at the site of extension you can see the uh, flap uh, is flattering and inverted into the anterior chamber or towards the uh, iris here is the end of the surgery after washing and removing the OVD from the AC you can do stromal hydration for the paracentesis and the main phaco incision thank you for watching this video I wish it useful you can subscribe my youtube channel if you find it good and useful thank you